In this video, we will learn about JavaScript class. Classes are one of the features introduced in ES6 version of JavaScript. JavaScript class is a template for creating objects. To create a class, we use class keyword. Then we write the name of the class. Within the class, we create one constructor method. You should always add a method with the name constructor within the class. The first letter of the class name should be in capital letter. JavaScript class is similar to the JavaScript constructor function. To create a constructor function in JavaScript, we use to write function and name of the function. I'm adding person. In this function, we'll add here we will add the code to initialize the property value of an object. After creating the constructor function, we create object. We can write any object name, person1 new keyword and constructor function and pass two values here so this is for creating one new object to display the object created using this constructor function we used to write console.log person1 you can see the output in this console tab it is displaying one object with the property name and age. Now we can create the object using class also. So now let's create the class. To create a class, we used to write class keyword, then class name. I'm adding the class name person. And in this class name, we have to add one constructor method. And this constructor method is used to initialize the value of the object. So let me add this here. Here we will add two parameters. So this is one class with the name person and this line will create one object with this class. Now let's duplicate it. We'll create another object with the name person2 and we will pass another value so we have two objects person1 and person2 now if you want to display the object in console tab you can write console.log and you can see the output it is displaying here one object with two properties name and age and the name is Elon Musk and age is 52 now let's print second object which is person 2 you can see the output in the console tab it is displaying another object with the name Bill Gates and age 67 this constructor method initializes the property of the object JavaScript automatically calls the constructor method when you create an object using the class. Now let's learn about JavaScript class methods. We can add any number of methods in JavaScript class. So let me remove this second person. And in this class after this constructor we can add any method. So let's add one method with the name greet and this greet method will return text hello this dot name it will return hello and name of the person now i want to display this person one object so here i will add console.log person1 and in the console tab you can see one object with two properties name elon musk is 52 
now let's expand it and here you can see prototype and in this prototype you can see this greet method in this prototype of the object so we can call this greet method from this person1 object so in this console.log i will add greet and you can see the output it is displaying hello elon musk because we are calling the greet method from the object and this greet method is returning the text hello and the name so that's why it is displaying hello elon musk we can add any number of methods so let's add another method here here i will add a new method change name this change name method will update the name of the person in the object so here we will add new name and then this dot name is equal to new name so in this method we are adding one parameter so when we will call this method we have to pass one argument let me remove this console.log and here i will call the change name method on person1 object so just add person1 dot change name and we have to pass one argument so let's add a new name i will add my name here avinas now we can print the object let's add console.log person1 you can see one object name avinas is 52 now if you want to print the name only here we will add person one dot name it is printing the name in the console tab so in the javascript class you can add any number of method now let's learn about getters and setters in javascript Getters and setters are a special methods in JavaScript that allow you to control how properties are accessed and modified. They are defined using get and set keyword. Now let's understand the getter method. A getter is a method that is called when a property is accessed. It can be used to do things like validate the value of property or convert it into different format. So let's see this example here we have one class with only one method greet and this method is returning hello and the name here we have created one object using this class this code will call the greet method from the person one object and display the return value in the console so while calling this greet method we used to write this parenthesis but when we declare it as a getter method so here we will add get space and the method name that's it just add the get keyword and after that here you don't need to write the parenthesis simply add greet person one dot greet and save the changes you can see the output it is still displaying the message hello elon musk so we have just added this get keyword in front of this method name and we can call it directly without adding parenthesis now let's understand the setter method with one example here we will change the method i will add change name new name this dot name is equal to new name To call this method we need to write person1 dot change name and pass one argument like this but here we will add set keyword in front of this method just add set then we don't need to write this parenthesis and pass the argument simply we will add person1 dot setter method name and assign one value using assignment operator like this and see the output 
here i am displaying the person one object it is displaying one object and name is avinas age 52 like this so we add this set keyword to define one setter method we can call this method on object and assign one value with assignment operator a setter is a method that is called when a property is modified it can be used to do things like update the value of the property or perform some other action we can use the same method as getter and setter let's see one example let me change the method name it will be person name and here i am adding set now we will add get this will be getter method and i am adding the method name same as the setter method here also person name and this will return return this dot name so you can see here we have declared one class in this class we have one setter method and one getter method and both method name is same person name and person name now to call this getter method we will simply add console.log person one dot person name so it will return the name of the person you can see the output it is displaying the name now we can update the name using this setter method so let's add person one dot person name and just assign one value after that again we will call this getter method that will display the name so you can see the output first it is displaying the name elon and after that it is displaying the name avinash so we have the same method name as getter and setter to call the getter method we are simply adding the object name and method name and to call the setter method we are adding object name and method name and assigning one value that's it when we assign any value it will call the setter method and update the properties value let's learn about javascript class expression a class expression provides you an alternative way to define a new class it is similar to a function expression but it uses the class keyword instead of the function keyword class expression can be named or unnamed if they are named the name can be used to refer the class later if they are unnamed they can only be referred by the variable that they are assigned to so let's define one class expression we will add the class keyword in this class we will declare one constructor method this constructor method will initialize the object property property name is name here we will add name and in this class we will add one method method name is get name it will return the name now we will assign this class in a variable let's add let keyword person is equal to class a class expression does not require an identifier after the class keyword you can use a class expression in a variable declaration now we can create an object so let's add const person one new person we can refer this class with this variable and here we'll add one argument
now we can display our object in the console tab so let's add console.log person1 you can see the output in this console here we have one object with the name elon musk so this was the class expression in javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel great stack to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video